welcome to today's session. So we continue looking at the 2022 GCE Mathematics Paper 2. So question 10 is from statistics and it leads the frequency table below shows the number of hours students studs on a particular day at a college. So we have the number of hours, number of students. Question A reads, calculate the standard deviation. So, standard deviation, basically, we shall call it S. So, basically, the standard deviation is given by SD. So, we just shall call it S. So, standard deviation is basically equal to, uh, we square that one. So, it's basically the square root of the variance. The variance is equal to the square of summation of x observation from the mean over n. This is for the population. If it was a sample, it was going to be divided by n minus 1. Now, this formula is basically the same as summation of x square over n minus the mean square. Okay, where we know n, the number is basically equal to the summation of frequencies, where we are given frequencies, like in this case. So what we need to do first is, the first step is we need to find the mean, where the mean is given by summation of x values, observation, divide by n. Okay? So, in the case where we are given the frequencies, this summation, the summation itself, x is given by uh, x observation multiplied by its frequency. So, in this case, like for example, we have zero number of students that are studying for one hour. So, one hour is the observation, which is x, then the frequency is zero. So let us start by finding the mean, the first step, because we need to know the mean. So in this case, summation of of frequencies in this case is, is, is equal to zero plus three plus three plus uh, five plus six plus two plus one, which is basically um, 0 plus 3 is 3 plus 3, 6 plus 5, 11 plus 6, uh, 17 plus 2, 19 plus 1, 20. So we have 20. Then we need to find summation of x multiplied by its frequency. In this case, it will be x is the number of words, which is 1 times frequency 0. So it's basically this one multiplied by this one, then this one multiplied by that one. So plus 2 multiplied by 3 plus 2 multiplied by 3 plus okay plus basically we are summing all of this so plus until the last one which is a 7 multiplied by 1 okay so we are summing them individual all of them then this one basically when we sum them we end up with 78. So basically, this is what happens. So in this case, our mean, which is bar equals 2, in this case, we have 78 divided by 20, which gives us nothing but uh, a 3.9. 3.9 hours. So on average, these students start about 3.9 hours at this college. So basically, this is how you find the the mean. So basically, remember in paper 2, the calculator is allowed. So we know what this is. So basically, now we know what this is. So we need what, and we know what n is, which is n is basically equal to this. Remember this formula. So what we need to do is now this. Okay. So, summation of x square, when you are given the frequencies, is basically equal to summation of 
the actual observation in this observation is the number of hours x x square multiplied by the frequency so the frequency here is the number of student so having done that let us proceed to find the x square so the x square in this case which is summation of x square will equal to so the first one is basically we square this one which is one square multiplied by zero the frequency then plus we square this one which is two square multiplied by the frequency which is three then plus we are squaring this number again which is three square multiplied by three then we do for all the last one until the last one which is seven square multiplied by one when we sum so we are also summing we square this one multiply by this one we sum we square this one multiply by this one we sum we square this one multiply by this one so at the end of the day when you square and sum this we end up with three three six okay remember in paper two i emphasize a calculator is allowed so use your calculator so having known this then we can now find the, the x square using this summation of x square over n minus this square mean so 3 3 6 over uh, basically 20 then minus uh, 3.9 square okay once we do that we end up with basically 16.8 minus 15.21 which gives us basically uh, 1.59 when we find the square root of this remember uh, basically the 1.95 is s square which is the variance so we are looking for standard deviation which is basically s so s is basically equal to the square root of 1.59 so s is basically equal to 1.26 so that's uh, the standard division so basically we're saying the variation the differences in the number of hours uh, the student uh, start is just uh, uh, 1.26 that cross the spread or yes so basically this is how you get the first uh, six marks in this paper okay so let us move to question b so b leads Answer this part of the question on a sheet of graph paper using the table above. Copy and complete the relative cumulative frequency table below. So, what we are told here in this case, we have relative frequency table. So, let us find basically this one, which I'll call A, B, C. So, how are they finding these numbers? So, it's basically 3 divided by which is 20 we get that one then 6 divided by 20 we get that one so similarly to get this one which is a in this case it will be basically 17 divided by 20 which will give us basically uh, 0 0.85 then uh, on b it will be basically 19 over 20 which is basically it gives us 0 0.9595 then c lastly it will be 20 over 20 which is basically a 1 so basically when you copy the table so these are the numbers that you substitute there and to ensure that the table is completed all right so having done that let's move to this one so this one is saying using a scale of two centimeter to represent one unit on the x-axis for this range 0 to uh, 7x scale of two centimeter to represent this 0 0.1 units on the y-axis for uh, y lies between 0 and 1 draw a smooth cumulative curve so in this case what we need to do is we know we've already uh, 
numbered on the graph so we have here the this is the relative cumulative frequency then we have the number of hours so in this case what you notice is we start with zero remember we already found this one this is 0 0.85 then this is 0 0.95 then this is a one okay so 0 comma 0 when x is less than 1 we have 0 comma 0 so you see at this point okay so we have at this point then this one comma that then when x is less than 2 we are 0 0.5 0 0.5 0.15 which is about here at the center here then we have when x the number of hours when the number of hours are 3 or less is 0 0.3 which is this point then when the number of hours are 4 or less is 0 0.55 so 0 0.55 is at the middle of this this point then when x is less or equal to 5 is 0 0.85 which is at this point somewhere at the middle then when x is less or equal to 6 is 0 0.95 somewhere at this point then when finally when x is less or equal to uh, 7 the cumulative number they are 1 so at this point so now what we need to do is to join these lines in a line that to look like this similar to this but so using a sharp pencil you can draw properly so you join these points at that point so what we have is basically is the, this curve so once you do that once you do that remember in your in your exams you'll be given a scale in such a way that uh, these will be two centimeter each square will be two centimeter so basically this is how you draw then next this is how you get the the other three marks this one so that you are sitting at uh, 10. Then next, the question leads showing your method clearly use your graph to estimate the 40th percentile. So, what we need to understand is a percentile is equivalent to 1%. So, we're saying a 1 unit out of 100. So, in this case, our measurement on the vertical axis, axis is from 0 0.1 to 1 so meaning we are moving from 0 0.01 units so we are starting from 0 0.01 each uh, of the subunit in this uh, graph paper so a 40th percentile is basically equal to 40 percent so 40 percent of 1 is 0 0.4 so when you ask us to go for 40 40th percentile in this case is 0 0.4 so we'll go to the line 0 0.4 here and draw this line along this line the straight line okay then from there draw down so approximate what you notice here is basically this is approximately half between 3 and 4 which is basically 3.5 so this should be about 3.5 hence the 40th percentile is basically equal to 3.5 3.5 hours so what is key here is understanding how we are measuring this unit remember the cumulative uh, frequency in this case relative they go up to 1 we, we are moving from the lowest a uh, number which is a zero student who where well, we have no one who's studying below one hour or up to one hour or they were up to the entire population so saying how many are studying 
less than one hour, less than two hours, less than three hours, less than four hours, until all of them, which is seven hours and less. So hence, the relative frequency is going up from 0 0.01 up to 1. So each 0 0.01 is equivalent to 1%. Thus, when you multiply this 0 0.01 by 40 percentile, we are getting this 0 0.4. And this 0 0.4 is what we are going here and lead on the chart and on the graph and get 3.5. So basically, this is how you deal with part B, Loma Numero 3. And you get all the 12 marks as simple as this. Thank you for joining us today. Till next time.